Hello, fellow tacos. How are you all doing today? Come on in, come on in. And we're going to have a nice little sit down about some drama that's been happening on the r slash wars under subreddit. So, a couple of days ago, a user by the name of R.O. Cookies made a post saying that he entered into a content creator's giveaway. And just days before he was supposed to receive the prize, he was banned from the Discord with absolutely no reason as to why. And now the content creator is refusing to give said prize to this user who clearly won. The content creator in question is called Marune and he's over on TikTok. So you already know that there's going to be some red flags surrounding that whole thing. But let me just get into this real quickly. So Marune was promising a Kafir canard as the prize for his giveaway. And he said that he was going to give away said prize during the sale. So it's very clear that he expected the Kafir Canard to be on sale when this War Thunder 11th anniversary was going to happen. But unfortunately, the Kafir Canard did not go on sale. As a desperate move, he actually banned cookies from the server and said that this actually disqualified him from receiving said price. Well, not only in my opinion is this a very scummy thing to do, but he also made the users of his Discord server pay 2500 GE, which is the equivalent of 16 US dollars, to enter said giveaway. So it's this whole thing is already turning out to be a mess. Hey, fellow Taco, how are you all doing today? Max here. I just wanted to say that while I was editing the video, Cookies actually managed to contact me and he wanted to clarify some things that I was initially. So he said that the users in Marune's Discord server actually didn't pay 2500 GE. Uh, the reason why the whole 2500 GE thing came up was that because he said that after he had won the giveaway, he and Marune spoke and said that uh, Cookies would give Marune 2500 GE if he could get the Kefir Canard. And Marune just agreed. So I just wanted to throw that in and I just want to make sure that this video is as factually correct as possible. So my apologies for that and I hope you enjoyed the rest of the video. I might pop in every one now and then for some corrections. Not only do we have a TikTok content creator who is very scummy, he steals other people's contents and, and now bans the winner because the prize that he promised to give away wasn't on sale. So this man is an upstanding gentleman. So that was that for a little bit until the next day where RO Cookies returned with another post saying, update, won a giveaway from a War Thunder content creator on his Discord got banned days before receiving the prize. And in this post, he goes on to accuse Marune of buying his not only his followers over on TikTok. But what stood out to me is saying that I might be wrong about my analysis of these stats as I am not a professional. But at least to me, these stats mean something. Either way, the engagement, average, and median stats are super weird for such an account. It's also weird how he has one day successes. The following video shows this as well. And then he goes on to show a couple of pictures that shows that Marune has indeed been purchasing followers and engagement over on TikTok. And well, everybody in the community was up in arms, calling this guy a giant piece of shit, saying that he is a, not only a terrible human, but also a terrible content creator for buying his subscriptions, canceling giveaways, just being a horrible person in general. And apparently this is not the first time that he has canceled a giveaway to somebody that has won before in, in his Discord server. That was that for a bit, up until another user by the name of Lex1253 submitted a post saying that Marune was actually closing down his Discord server. This goes on to say, hello, I hope you are doing well. Let's get straight to the point. Some may be happy to hear, some may be sad, but we have nowhere to go. I will close the server and not like other times, channels disappear or all of that. It will close permanently. Unfortunately, we will not hear from each other again. So for those of you who will see this message, good luck in the future and take care of yourselves. Goodbye. So not only is this man playing the victim card, he's hoping to gain sympathy from other people because he was caught red-handed for his scummy activities. This is just mind-boggling to me that there's content creators within this community that pull this kind of stunts. Not only did he delete his Discord server, he actually deleted his YouTube and TikTok account. This guy may be gone for good, hopefully. So there's one last post in this whole story saying that RO Cookies eventually did receive the Kefir Carnard. 
He made a post saying, Two days ago after my original post where I am described how I was banned receiving the giveaway price, multiple posts followed along with an update of my own which can be found on the original post. I received the help of the Joker, the owner of the first fighter group community and the MIG Ghost, the owner of Hawks of Romania. They acted like complete gentlemen with this issue. Joker has defended me since I was a part of his community and remained quite active there. After some communication on everyone's part, I can confirm I have received the prize of the giveaway from Marune as of this morning. Everything else is history. Saul's well that ends well. Aro Cookies did manage to get his prize. The scummy TikTok content creator is gone. Hopefully this is the last we hear of this situation. But to me, it's just wild that this even happened in the first place. And I'm just glad that there's still some integrity left within the War Thunder community that will call out people when they do scummy practices. So what did you all think of that drama post? For me, it was kind of intense, but let me know what you thought in the comments below. I'm your host, Full Blood MX, and I will see you in the next video. Adios!